Hey there everybody, I'm CNY Central First Alert Meteorologist Matt Stevens. I hope this early part of the holiday weekend is treating you well. And if you do happen to not to be at work this holiday weekend, I hope you have a great chance to enjoy it. And even if you are working, like myself, hope you find a little sliver of time here or there to enjoy yourself. Let's talk about the temperatures. Low 70s typically this time of the year. Suspecting that we're going to end up probably a little bit below that today, but likely ending up above that for Sunday and Monday. So a slow progression upward for our temperatures, at least over the course of the holiday weekend for Memorial Day. 89 degrees is our record high. That's going to stay safe today. That was set back in 2007. Our low temperature is typically in the upper 40s near 50, probably going to end up in the ballpark of that once again today. 30 degrees is our record low. That is safe. That was set back in 1963. Our sunrise 533, our sunset 830, and yesterday just shy of a quarter inch of rain officially at the Syracuse Hancock Airport. So we're left with a pretty hefty surplus, over three inches of rain still above average for this time of the year. It has been an abnormally wet spring, and it's reflected in just how much rain we have around. So here's a future cast. Going to grab this at about 8 o'clock this morning, run it out through the day. Early clouds, drizzle, and fog had some pretty significantly reduced visibility abilities reported early on this morning. It's going to give way to a mix of sun and clouds today. However, with an upper air disturbance passing over the top of us, that's going to help to, especially once we get into daytime heating, pop off a couple hit or miss showers and thunderstorms today. So this is a kind of day where you need to watch the triple Doppler radar. If you have our CNY Central mobile app, or if you want to check us out online, you can use our interactive Doppler radar and zoom right into barbecue level mapping if you'd like and see what's going on with those hit or miss miss showers and storms today if today's a day you happen to have some outdoor plans. Heading into this evening, high pressure regains control. It's going to build in from the west and move us into mainly clear skies, but likely some patchy, dense fog developing as well. Sunday, early patchy, dense fog gives way to mostly sunny skies, then a mix of sun and a few clouds developing through the day Sunday. Looks like most, if not all of us, end up dry on Sunday as we currently see it. So, Hour by hour through this morning, temperatures start off in the lower 50s. We're up to about the low 60s by late morning. Early areas of fog and drizzle giving way to a mix of sun and clouds. Chance of an isolated shower storm. Call them our hit or miss showers or storms popping up into this afternoon. 69 degrees is our forecasted high. And like we talked about on the almanac graphic, that's pretty close to standard stuff for this time of the year. If anything, just a hint below average. Winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Heading into this evening, any very isolated showers give way to clearing skies. We're down to 55 by 11 o'clock, bottoming out overnight in the mid to upper 40s with some patchy, dense fog developing as our winds turn light and variable. Here's a seven day forecast. 75 and breezy for Sunday, so a little warmer, a mix of sun and clouds. Memorial Day Monday, most of the greater Syracuse area stays dry. However, well up to the north, looking up towards the north country, chance of a couple isolated showers, breezy and even warmer at 80 degrees. Again, a typical highs in the low 70s this time of the year. For Tuesday and Wednesday, a couple isolated showers or storms around, temperatures in the upper 70s, a couple spotty showers and thunderstorms around for our Thursday, 74 degrees degrees are forecasted highs. We get into a slightly better organized area of low pressure for Thursday, but looking ahead to Friday and even the start of early next weekend, it looks like we could be in for a couple isolated showers or thunderstorms. Temperatures pretty close to standard stuff for this time of the year in the low 70s.